1983, Microsoft began developing a graphical user interface-based operating system called Windows, designed to run on top of the existing MS-DOS operating system. Two years later, in 1985, the first version of Windows was released to the market. Meanwhile, Linux was developed slightly later. In 1991, Linus Torvalds, a Finnish student, embarked on the creation of an operating system kernel compatible with Unix for his personal computer. As of September 2021, Windows is installed on approximately 87% of desktop computers, making it the undisputed leader, not only compared to Linux, which accounts for about 2% of desktops, but also against other operating systems in terms of popularity. The primary difference between these operating systems lies in their source code. Windows has closed source code that cannot be modified, whereas Linux features open source code, which is its defining characteristic. This distinction also impacts one of the most critical factors in choosing an operating system. Security. No one wants their data stolen or their device hacked. So let's compare the security of Windows and Linux. At first glance, Linux might seem less secure due to its open source nature and lack of a built-in antivirus. However, is this really the case? Statistically, Windows is targeted more frequently by hackers. Why? First, Windows users often lower their guard due to the presence of built-in antivirus software. Second, Windows popularity makes it an appealing target for attackers, since a successful hack can affect a large number of users. While Linux does not come with a built-in antivirus, it employs robust security measures that make it significantly harder to breach. For instance, in Linux, you cannot install or remove a program without entering a password. This measure is a critical precaution in software management. Viruses cannot harm the operating system because they would require a password, which is stored in a highly encrypted file. System requirements are another crucial factor when selecting an operating system. For Windows, the requirements vary by version. In this discussion, we'll focus on Windows 10. According to Microsoft, the minimum requirements for Windows 10 are a processor with at least one gigahertz clock speed, 2 GB of RAM, 20 GB of storage, and a graphics card supporting DirectX 9. For Linux, due to its open-source nature, minimum requirements can vary depending on the system's capabilities. When it comes to user-friendliness, most users prefer a simple and intuitive operating system. Despite improvements in Linux installation and configuration, and the availability of user-friendly distributions, Windows remains easier for most people to install configure, and use. Moreover, newer versions of Windows make it increasingly simple to locate and adjust settings. In contrast, Linux often requires navigating through multiple tabs and menus to access specific options. The performance of these two operating systems also differs. For example, in Windows 10 Home, on a desktop with no user-launched programs, the operating system consumed approximately 4 GB of RAM, quite a lot. Many laptops and PCs on the market have only 8 GB of RAM, meaning that Windows alone can occupy half of the available memory. Linux, on the other hand, performs differently depending on the desktop environment. With KDE Plasma, one of the heavier desktop environments, the system typically uses around 500 MB of RAM without open applications. On a Manjaro distribution running Plasma, memory usage on the desktop rises slightly above 1 GB, still about four times more efficient than Windows. For computers with four gigabytes of RAM, Linux can breathe new life into the system. Of course, for powerful hardware, this difference is less significant. However, for older devices or systems with limited RAM, Linux can be a more efficient choice. 